In this video, I will show you how you can automatically create Google Slides along with an image from the data present in your Google Sheets. Okay, so firstly, I would recommend you to create a spreadsheet in which you can add the details which you would like to insert in your Google Slides presentation. After that, you will have to create a generalized template. Okay, so this is the template along with an image. So for now, I am deleting this image. I'm deleting this presentation in front of you so that I I can show you everything from scratch okay so create a generalized template and whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically from your spreadsheet data you can add those values in the form of variable yes the values packed with the curly braces are called as variables and the name will appear here automatically I want that even the competition name should be picked from my spreadsheet and should be added here automatically so that is why I have added this value in the form of variable and along with the name and competition name I also want that the images should be replaced automatically dynamically okay for that you will have to insert an image from your desktop or from anywhere in your Google Slides template okay so how about I upload some random image yes you will have to upload a random image and after that you will have to place this this image at the place where you would like to add other images okay so I am adjusting the space and I want that these images okay so let's say this is the drawing competition so in front of that I have added a logo of drawing competition further I have this dance competition so in front of that I have added the logo of dance competition so I want that these logos should be added in my Google slides automatically okay so firstly you will have to add a random image and basically you will have to create a Google Slides template and once your spreadsheet is ready and your Google Slides template is ready after that you will have to reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now what is this Pabli Connect? Well it is an amazing integration and automation software using which we are going to create this automation. Basically we are going to connect our Google Sheets and Google Slides application and in this way we are going to to automate our task okay i'm an existing user so i'm already logged in here you can create your free account in public connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation so once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of public connect firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so how about i provide the name something like create slides from Google Sheets data along with image instead of along how about I go with images only and then further it will ask you to select the folder in which you want to create your automation workflow okay so I'll be going with this main workflow folder now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action so here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application okay so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case i want that the data should be picked up from this google sheets and the slides should be created in google slides okay so that is why i will be selecting the same applications in this trigger and the action window okay so the google sheets is selected here further i want that using the google sheets data a presentation should be created automatically so that is why i have selected the same okay and now the idea here is i will be connecting these two applications one by one with the pabli connect so that i can capture the data from spreadsheet to pabli connect and in this way i am going to automate my task by sending the data to different applications okay so let's first connect to google sheets with pabli connect so selecting the trigger event that is new or updated spreadsheet row and you will notice a webhook URL along with a few set of instructions. Okay, so you will have to follow these instructions step by step in order to build this connection. And yes, with the help of this URL only we are going to build this connection. Okay, so I have already copied this URL going back to my spreadsheet. Now clicking on extension, clicking on add-ons, clicking on get add-ons. And here firstly, I will be searching for the Pabli Connect webhooks add-on. So give me a second 
all right i have selected the same and you will notice that this add-on is already installed in my account because i have created several automations previously okay but you will have to firstly install this add-on because after that you will have to open the same add-on by clicking on this extension yes you will have to open this add-on and then you will have to click on this initial setup and here exactly we are going to paste our webhook url okay remember we have got this webhook url from the dashboard of pabli connect okay so simply paste the same and further it will ask you to provide the trigger column okay so read the instructions the trigger column will be your final data column in which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to specify a column name on filling of which this automation should trigger or we can say the data should be sent to pabli connect dashboard okay so currently i have in total uh, six column okay one two three four five well i'm really sorry i have five columns in total so whenever someone from my team add a new row in my spreadsheet that new data will go up to e column only so that is why the trigger column is going to be e column only so i have added the same and now as soon as i click on this button you will notice that the same spreadsheet row data will be received here as a webhook response let me even show you that all right i have clicked on that button if i will scroll down you will notice that the test data sent successfully and basically it has sent the first row data that is demo student this is the number this is the email address the competition name and even the image url okay here you can find the same data coming back to the dashboard of pabli connect and did you notice the same spreadsheet data is visible here basically the response is received let me show you the details one by one here we have the same whatsapp number the same trigger column the same student name email address and all other details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between pabli connect and our google sheets is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will add a new row in our google sheets that data will be fetched via pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is done but before i move further i would like to tell you very important thing basically two very important thing the first one is if you want that the data of your spreadsheet should be sent to pabli connect in real time automatically for that you will have to enable a very small setting that is the send on event okay i'm repeating this thing once again that you will have to enable this option if the tick mark is there that means the option is enabled and if this option is enabled that means the data will be sent to pabli connect in real time automatically okay and the second important thing is whenever you connect your google sheets with pabli connect make sure that multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in in the same tab or i would recommend you to work in the incognito window okay i'm repeating this thing once again either work in the incognito window or multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in in the same tab okay so i hope you have understood and the first step is done now moving further i'll show you how you can automatically create a presentation in our google slides using the google sheets data okay so selecting the action even that is create presentation from template remember we have already created a template so yes we can go with the same action even now clicking on connect then clicking on add a new connection and if you are connecting google slides with the pabli connect for the first time go with sign in with google and then you will have to provide the access of your gmail account okay but because i have provided this access multiple times so how about i go with the existing connection clicking on save and in this way my google slides account will be immediately connected connected with pabli connect and because we are connected here you can notice whatever the presentations are already available in my folder basically in my google slides folder have started visible here okay so the name of my template is this google slides template so let me select the same and you will notice that whatever the variables i have added inside my google slides presentation the same variables are visible even in the dashboard of pabli connect okay so here you can notice the student name and this competition name okay coming back to the dashboard
code and here you can find the same variables that is the student name and the competition name other than that we also have two fields that is title of new presentation so basically whatever the new google slides we are about to create what should be the name of those google slides okay. so here in order to provide a name i am going to add the data from my spreadsheet only so that it can be a unique name okay i cannot provide any detail manually if i will do that what will happen the same name will be provided to every single presentation okay so how about i provide the name along with the name of the students okay so give me a second i'll show you everything how you can do that so basically i'm not going to manually copy this data and paste here again and again i'm going to map the data from my google sheets response okay remember we have already captured this data as a response and i'm not going to manually copy and paste below again and again i'm going to map it and mapping is very simple you just need to click on that field and you will find the above data here in the drop down so how about i pick this email address not the email address basically the name of the person then i am going to add a hyphen and after that i will be adding some certificate thing okay i think it is looking good but let's say you want to create the name more unique what you can do is you can provide the email address in the bracket in this way what will happen the name will not be duplicate okay so for now i am removing it and again i am leaving this title on you whatever you want to keep the title you can do the same asking for the new presentation locations location so basically whatever the google slides you are creating where we should save those google slides okay so i have already created a folder with the name all certificates of student and yes i want to save all these google slides in this folder only okay so i will be selecting the same you can notice that because we are connected whatever the folders are already available in my google slides have started visible here so i will be selecting this all certificates of students give me a second all all right it is done now it is asking for the competition name and the student name so this data also i am going to take from the spreadsheet and again whatever the details we are going to map from this drop down these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time but whatever the details we are selecting here manually will remain same Okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping and via manually and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation all right so i think i have provided the data basically all the fields are filled how about i click on this button save and send as request and you will notice that firstly a response will be received if that response is positive that means our automation is working fine and a google slides will be created automatically okay so going back to my google drive folder and checking the same and did you notice one slide is created here automatically let me even open the same and check for the details is and did you notice the name of the student and even the competition name has been replaced here automatically the only thing we need to replace is this images so how you can also replace this image okay so come back to the dashboard of pabli connect and click on this plus icon and select google slides once again basically we are going to connect it once again with the pabli connect but this time the action event will be same basically we will go with this upload image in present presentation this specific action event okay clicking on connect and i have already connected my google slides account with public connect okay so how about i go with the existing connection clicking on save and in this way my google slides account will be connected with public connect once again okay and now it is asking the template presentation basically in which particular template you would like to add the image or you would like to replace the image so i would like to replace my image in this specific google slides template basically the template which i have just created with the help of automation okay so i cannot actually select the data from this drop down otherwise what will happen every single image will be updated in the same certificate only okay so that is why instead of providing the data from this drop down i am going to map this data 
For this, I will have to enable this mapping button. Then I will have to remove the existing ID. And here I am going to provide the ID of the presentation in which I would like to update the image, which I can do from my second step. Here you can notice in the response, we have also got this presentation ID, which I have mapped here successfully asking for the image replace method. Okay, so let's wait. I'll show you the options. All right, so here we have the center inside or center crop. Okay, so how about I go with center inside only and in the slide, one image one you will have to add the url of the image which you would like to update in your google slides presentation so again i am going to do that from my google sheets data only which i have already captured as a response of my first step of my trigger step where is the image url all right this is the image url and here we have a single image only in our template so that is why a single field is visible here but assume that you are creating some different kind of banner and in that banner you have multiple images so what will happen in such case multiple fields will be added here with the name slide one and image two slide one and image three in the same way okay so i hope you have understood everything for for now, I am clicking on this button save and send test request and I am really expecting this image to be replaced here automatically. And did you notice the logo, the image has been updated here automatically, okay? Well, this logo is quite smaller. So what you can do is when you create a template, you can add the image size as per your requirement. Instead of this landscape, instead of this horizontal, you can add an image of square so that it can be replaced here automatically okay so for now it is looking good now coming back to the dashboard of Fably connect okay and i think we are all set to go okay so now onwards what will happen every time you will add a new row in your google sheets using that spreadsheet data a presentation will be created automatically in our google slides in the same way and further immediately an image will be also inserted here without doing anything manually okay so this is the real time process every time you add the data here it will be updated in real time but let's say you want to do the same process in bulk in just one go well that is also possible but for that you will have to enable a different option in place of the send on event simply enable the send all data and as soon as you do that you will notice that lot of presentations will be created automatically along with these images inserted in those presentation okay so currently we have around 24 students data so i'll show you how you can do that but before you enable that send all event option make sure that your automation is working absolutely fine everything is working absolutely fine if the data of first row is added in your google slides correctly that means your automation is working absolutely fine so you can enable that send all data option okay let me even show you how you can do that okay currently you can notice we have only two slides in our google drive folder now i am going to enable this send all data option and you will see the magic that within few seconds lot of templates lot of google slides presentation will be created in this folder okay fingers crossed waiting for that okay it is still loading all right so i have waited for few seconds how about we check the google slide folder and did you notice the presentations are already created here automatically with different name here we have test 12 user dummy 12 user dummy student and lot of details let me even cross check one random template how about i go with this dummy 12 and did you notice the image is also inserted here automatically and this image is related to dance competition because this competition was about dance only okay so i hope you have understood and one 
once this automation is ready inside Pabli Connect, you can even close Pabli Connect. Just make sure that your automation is enabled from here. After that, you can sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end. You do not have to do anything manually. And just in case, if you want to access this three-step automation inside your Pabli Connect account, I will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box. Okay, so click on this link, sign up for free into the Pabli Connect, and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video